Now let us look at the steps to conserve fossil fuels. What steps help to conserve the fossil fuels? The first one is from your side. Of course, the scientists are finding the alternate ways for the alternate sources of uh, for the energy. But from your side, what you can do from your day to day activities to conserve the fossil fuels? So the thing you can do is you can save electricity. If you save electricity, then you have saved the fossil fuel because electricity is generated by thermal power stations. Most of the electricity we are getting right now because the hydroelectricity is limited. Only in certain seasons we get the hydroelectricity when there is a good flow of water in the rivers. At other times we depend on thermal power. By burning the coal we get the electricity. So, save electricity, turn off lights and other appliances. Other appliances may be television, may be a stereo, music system, whatever it may be. You please switch off when they are not in use and use the lights judiciously and use the lights which, which uh, conserve the power, which save the power. You can go for uh, CFLs instead of normal lights. And more than CFL, you know, you have LED lights which will save more energy. You can go for LED lighting and you can go for automatic sensors for your switchboards. So when you are not there in the rooms, automatically they get switched off. Otherwise, you can switch off them when they are not in use. Fans, you can switch off them. In this way, you can conserve the electric electricity. So by that, you will be conserving the natural resource coal. And second thing is um, public transport. The second place where we waste the fossil fuel is taking up individual vehicles. Petrol is burnt in the vehicles, diesel is burnt in the vehicles. Every one, every single person is taking one uh, separate vehicle, then how much pollution is caused? Say in a family, four people are taking four cars to go to their jobs. So then four people are using four cars, how much pollution is created? So they can go for either carpool. Carpool means a group of people, those who have to reach uh, uh, one destination. Say for example, there is an office, Microsoft office, they have to go to Microsoft office. All the employees, they can take one car. Any one of the persons, for example, seven people, or for example, five people are there. One day, one person's car they can take and all the people can board it and travel. So that is called carpool. Or they can go in a cab where everybody sits, uh, four to five members and they go instead of taking individual vehicles. So that is carpool is one thing where you can save the energy and you can reduce the pollution. And second thing is public transport. Public transport, even though you have individual vehicles, you can take public transport like bus or a train or a metro train. So by that you can reduce, conserve the natural resource like petrol and diesel. So now let us look at the other one, minerals. So minerals are the another important natural resources. The minerals are extracted from the soil, from the earth in the form of ores. From the ore, metals are extracted, metals and non-metal materials are extracted, raw materials to make various products. Among those, the metals are very useful in making various kind of objects, machinery, tools, vehicles and all these are made up of metals. So the minerals, the mineral mines in the earth are in danger right now because so many of the mines, mineral deposits were extracted and they were digged and picked up, collected and used up. So finding these mines, finding these minerals in the earth surface is becoming difficult day by day. So the mining activities are becoming more polluting. So they are going for deep penetration, destroying the mountains, mountains by going with certain methods like mountain top removal, MTR. These kind of methods, they cause a lot of disturbance 
to the surroundings, habitat, many animals become homeless, plants and animals are disturbed and surrounding water is polluted. Toxic chemicals also may be released into the atmosphere because of this mountain top removal kind of mining. So these mining activities, they pollute the environment a lot. At the same time, finding the metals like uh, aluminium and iron are becoming very scarce. So the prices are going up. For aluminium and iron, the prices are going up day by day because the, their availability is getting less. Because of that, they are using very different methods of mining which are very dangerous to the environment. So here, what we can do is that we can suggest that go for less wasteful mining methods. Less wasteful mining methods. Mining methods. And then at the sec uh, same time, the second important thing is recycling, which is very, very important. In countries like Japan, if a car is manufactured by the car manufacturer, he uses most of the components, recycled components in manufacturing a car. Instead of taking the raw material, even in USA, we can see that uh, many of the automobile uh, waste is uh, recycled to get that new iron to make the new vehicles. So most of that 70% of the iron, they get it from recycling of automobile parts. So in this way, recycling is a very important process. So when we have different kind of um, uh, waste scrap, metal scrap, instead of throwing in the garbage that can be sold it down for the recycler or the purchaser, second hand purchaser, he will send it to the factory for recycling. So it not only for that metals, aluminum, different kind of metals, even paper, even cardboard. So everything can be recycled, plastic, whatever is the chance for recycle that should be sent for recycling so by that we conserve the resources, especially here the natural resources like these minerals also conserved by taking up this following things.